Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate, or I go by Always More Sims here on YouTube, and I am doing the decorating of the house I'm using for the next generation of my Perfect Genetics Challenge. So, I went out and I downloaded, actually, a house before this, and... In the pictures, it looked like I'd have enough space. Like, I'm like, okay, I know it'll be a little tight, but I think it'll be fine. I placed the house, put my sims in it, and I'm like, oh, this is too tight. <laughs> I'm like, it, and I mean, it was, it's a townhouse. Um, so, again, I, I knew it was probably going to be tight, but I didn't realize it was going to be that tight. And so... I went searching for another house and actually found one by the same creator, but it didn't have any pictures to it. Uh, all it had was the front of the house, but it had, it was like, a, it had six bedrooms and I'm like, okay, we'll do this one. So I downloaded the house, placed it, and then I went to look inside, make sure everything was okay, and I realized that it wasn't decorated. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> So, for the last three hours or so, I have been on and off um, decorating this house. It is nowhere near as uh, detailed as I like to get. I didn't really do a lot of detailing. I figured if anything, I'll do that later on, but I want to get this video up as soon as possible because it's already late and just kind of go from there it is a super pretty house i really like it i didn't change any of the wall colors uh, i changed the floor color before i started recording um so it was all one consistent color because like a bunch of rooms had different wood colors and i didn't like that and then like the kind of flooring that was used looked weird when i like shifted the camera angle so i'm just like okay we're gonna make everything one one color, one type of floor, like a f type of flooring that does not change based on like what the angle of the camera is. Um, there is also a room I got rid of actually in the top right corner, or I guess it would be the left corner right now, but in the corner of the room there was a little room there and I think it was meant to be maybe a laundry room or a pantry of sorts and I didn't want that so I simply got rid of it. I actually didn't know how to furnish like this this the bottom floor um because there's a lot of open rooms and i just i was so unsure and it's kind of an awkward shape especially with like that bay window area uh so i did i'm like okay i can't put a kitchen part there and the fireplace uh made everything awkward but i didn't want to get rid of it and so I like I was like okay so maybe I can put it all in the living room. But the living room had wood flooring. So I'm like I get the feeling this was not made to be a kitchen dining room area. It was made to be a living room, but it's huge. So I don't really think any of my Sims are gonna play piano. But I put this humongous piano in there if anything because it takes up the room that I didn't know what to do with. Um, especially because there's another room that I'm like, well, I was like, at first I was like, oh, I can just put, you know, some easels or, you know, a couple computers. Yeah, no, there was another open room and I'm like, I guess I'll just put the computers and the easel in here. So again, I'm back to what do I do with this empty space? Uh, so put the piano there and then I have a room dedicated solely to the toddler stuff. It looks rather sparse, but my thought process on it was there will be enough room for the toddlers to walk around in there and because there's an archway they'll probably end up walking out and around the house as well but leave me alone okay um so yeah it's that room on the right no no it's the <laughs> I'm going too fast uh there are plenty cameras not cameras uh, bathrooms I don't know why I said cameras there are plenty of bathrooms in this house uh which is good and then there's that door leading outside in that one bathroom and I get the feeling that was supposed to be like a mudroom kind of thing but I made it into a bathroom because you can never have too many bathrooms in this challenge I've learned that this room okay never mind we, we went right past it but 
when you come in through the front door it's the room on the right that's where i put all the toddler stuff but there, that is not their nursery the nursery is upstairs um i also get the feeling that the master bedroom might have been made to go on the main floor but then it could also be where i originally put it like or where i ended up putting it upstairs i feel like it could also go there really easily because i don't i don't know what the creator wanted all this to be i will have the house link down below but i don't it wasn't an individual link it was actually a page full of houses and then like all the little links were like download links were underneath it so i can't just show you the house but i'll i'll put what it's called you know so you guys know where to look um and basically it's the creator all of i believe it's a, i believe it's a girl um all of her houses uh in the description so you guys can go download this one or download one of the other ones i definitely want to use her houses again they are super pretty i feel like this one um the actual house itself fits better with min with the world we are in um and then the other one i, I think i might have just given it away because the video on what we like who we went with where we are but you know they both start with m it could have sounded like mid or moon I don't know I'm not we're gonna move on so um, but it does fit in a lot better with the world than uh, the other house did because the other house was actually pink and blue um, now not like bright pink or anything but kind of like a, a dusty salmon color and yeah this house is like a it's, I can't tell if it's a dark navy or like a dark gray but that fits fine with the world the bright shrubbery everywhere does not though because when i'm from that view we have these bright yellow trees out front the bright green trees and just does not fit uh also this house was made to go on a corner lot and it is not on a corner lot and you can tell because the driveway comes out on the left side of the house instead of coming around to the front and so when I place the cars later, you'll see that I have one sitting along the side of the house. That's my way of like trying to be realistic and hinting, hey, the driveway is around the back. Um, I also gave them a fixed rubber car. Don't know if I will use it because I did not use it in the last generation, but I always I just kind of put it there as a backup. It's actually in the garage so they don't get wet or cold or hot or whatever when they're working on it. Uh, and, yeah, I think that's all I really want to say about the house. Um, it, this is actually the first look at build and buy mode that I've done, like, that's kind of speed build wise. As you actually just saw right there, it's a lot harder to tell when I have it all sped up like this. But when I'm in build and buy mode and I'm like making a house or furnishing a house uh, and I go to move, like move the camera over to the left or to the right or wherever, it like lags on me and then it just keeps going. And it occasionally does this in my game, but it does it a lot when I'm in build and buy mode and it actually drives me insane. Okay, it drives me legit crazy. And... I don't know like there's nothing I can do to fix it but it does it drives me insane and then everything takes forever to load and I <sighs> but yeah so this is the house I actually think this house is called like Christmas gift too or something that the creator made it as a Christmas gift to all of her followers or something like that and it's it it was actually with like four I think it was one of four houses that she had like done and I think it's like it's like Christmas gift to lot something lot eight I can look really quick I'm looking really quick it's lot four sorry no CC uh yeah it came with a bunch of others and you ha you could download all of them or you could download just one and I actually there was a different house I was trying to download and for whatever reason it just wouldn't download because it was one of those that it had to go through the launcher that it didn't give me the package file which is how I prefer because I can just take the package file and move it straight into my library and instead of having to worry about installing it and stuff but for whatever reason it wouldn't install 
and it would tell me it was installed, but then it wouldn't be in my game. So I was get, I was actually getting very frustrated. I'm like, what the heck am I supposed to do? But I figured it all out. I found a different house. I wish I didn't have to decorate it because I actually I liked the decorating style of the previous house. I think it was a little too classy, but I still thought it looked really nice. And plus, I'm just lazy and I didn't want to do it myself, but it's okay. I did it myself anyways, and I was actually, I was thinking it wouldn't take me long. I was just like, oh yeah, you know, do some touches here, maybe furnish a room or two there, and then I can just put it at the beginning or the end of, you know, the next part of Perfect Genix. Well, yeah, that didn't happen. Uh, I'm also hoping the stairs work, because if you just saw a moment ago, this house is split level. Um, or, I guess you don't, no, it's not split level, but it has, like, the split level on the stairs, that there's the main floor, and then there's this really small level that's about the size of the foundation, and then there's the top floor, and I'm really hoping that the stairs work, because I know when I've tried use, doing that myself in the past, or I've downloaded houses that have had that, the stairs don't always work, and the Sims can't get upstairs. I probably should have tested that first, but... I didn't have the sims in the house so uh <laughs> don't know what to tell you on that uh and actually this probably because I didn't have to build the whole thing this only ended up being like 17 and a half minutes when I was done most of my speed builds are like 26 minutes or something longer than that a little crazy uh especially when I built the house I used for my Snow White generation of my Disney Legacy Challenge. That was fun. Uh, but yeah. And yeah, like, I didn't change, like I said, any of the wall coloring. And so I just kind of run, I just, I just kind of run with it. I ran with it, uh, especially like when I was decorating the master bedroom here. I like the colors. Um, like, I really like that blue. It's actually a really pretty color. I like the bed, but at the same time, I I don't know. Like, now that I'm looking back at it, I don't love it as much as I did when I was first doing it. I'm like, this is such a pretty color, and I think this bedspread looks pretty good, you know, with the, the creamy drapes, and I'm not really feeling it as much. Um, and then this is the nursery, uh, which is directly from the master bedroom. I think this was supposed to be the master bedroom within, like, their own little personal living room area but I don't know and that's obviously not how I took it I wanted the toddlers to be close enough that it didn't that the sims didn't have to go all the way downstairs or something like that but I'm also hoping that the archway acts kind of as a door or as a wall and does not wake up the parents when the toddler one or if the toddlers start crying I'm really hoping because that would be really annoying um <laughs> But, yeah. This I was thinking of putting in the changing table. I still have yet to use that after having downloaded it forever ago. Um, but, see, I I don't want to use it in a challenge where I'm going to have five bajillion kids. Okay, that's not true. I've had, what, I had ten in the last generation. And, that and you know, technically I could have stopped at eight. You know, the generations keep getting smaller and smaller, so I actually doubt I'll be using any of these bedrooms twice, uh, that, or if I'll even fill all of the bedrooms. So, <laughs> yeah, because if the gener- I get the feeling the generations will continue to get shorter and shorter as, you know, the, the perfect genetics gene becomes more and more common. So, yeah. There are a bunch of houses I saw that were, you know, three bedroom, four bedroom. Like, those aren't big enough. But, you know, they probably honestly would have been. Uh, at least, like, bedroom wise. Maybe not house size. Because uh, I still like having enough room for all the toddler stuff and for the skill building things. And honestly, when I was doing that skill building room, all I could think of was, oh my gosh, this is, you know, my 100 baby challenge all over again, where I had to have special rooms dedicated to solely painting or solely writing, because that's what I did in my 100 baby challenge days, was I had rooms solely dedicated to that, and it was ridiculous. It was 
yeah, that was... Or I would, like, try to squeeze in the easels wherever I could. So I had, like, a hallway that was easels, like, lining it on both sides. <laughs> Trying to make it work so my kids can be successful and not annoying. You know, get them out of my hair. Yeah, so. And then I went ahead and decorated all the bathrooms. I didn't know if I was going to. Uh, I was kind of debating, but then I decided I, I would just go ahead so I could, you know, go ahead and use all of them. I wouldn't have to be, oh, well, I have this bathroom, but it's not decorated, so I can't really use it, I guess, but I changed that. And then this bedroom, like, the bathroom that I'm creating, that room it's attached to, that is the only other bedroom that has a bathroom attached to it. So that's why I say that that might have been intended as a master bedroom because it has the ensuite attached to it. But I don't know. I don't know. And then I actually I almost forgot that I was going to that I had to decorate the outside still. So yeah, this is this is where I'm kind of hinting at you have to go all the way around. <laughs> and I'm changing things up for once. Um I just put down a black Dodge Charger and a like forest green Kia Sportage. Uh, I think I'm gonna do that. The perfect genetics person, that the, the the parent with the perfect genetics, will have the 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 fun car, and the other one will have the more mom mobile like car. So. That means that Caleb gets the fun car, that I have a guy with the fun car for once, instead of uh, the woman, and I don't know, I mean, let's face it, at this point, the moms never get any jobs, they stay at home and have kids, and so I felt like, you know, it'd be kind of fitting for one of the moms to actually have a more mom-appropriate car for once, and so the mom has the car. Um, or has the uh, SUV, the, the Kia Sportage, like I said, is what I gave her. And then I put it in a dark green because, and that doesn't give away which sim it was, because both of the sim options both liked green, so. And then I realized I had completely forgotten to put a sink in and a stove. Go me. <laughs> and then I put, I got really paranoid and put, um, uh, the alarm systems at every door. But, yeah, I will go ahead and, uh stop talking and this is gonna end here so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye guys